Welcome back to daytime, everyone. Well, this will shock no one. A recent psychological association survey found that 60% of parents have no idea how to keep their kids engaged this summer. We are getting some expert help now from mompreneur Lindsay Teague Moreno, and she has three children all under the age of 12. Hello there, Lindsay. Hey, guys. How are you? Very well, thank you very much. I think initially it wasn't too hard for parents, right? But this is this is going on and on and on. Yeah, it's starting to wear on us, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not enough to just say, go entertain yourselves. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you need a strategy for sure. <laughs> How are you even doing this segment right now? My kids are asleep still, so I kept them up real late last night so that they'd sleep in today. <laughs> Smart. Smart. Wow, it's a chess game. <laughs> just for you to get some work done. It is, yeah. Actually, they're, they're really good, though. Uh, they're kind of used to me working from home because I worked from home before this, so they understand that. And we've had long conversations, which I'll talk to you guys about, long conversations about what I do and how important it is to them being able to do what they want to do. <laughs> well, well, how about we start right there? Great. How do you have that conversation with a kid? So the first thing you do is establish really strong boundaries. Kids are just like other adults. <laughs> They'll take everything that you've got if you let them. So you have to really be serious and honest with them when you have a conversation and just say, hey, this is what I do. In order for us to be able to go out and do anything else, I have to make money. We have to make money to survive and to eat. And so I need this amount of time every single day. And when I'm in this time, I can't have you interrupting me. I need this amount of time of uninterrupted work. And for every kid age, it's going to be a little bit different. So go along with what they are able to do as far as keeping themselves entertained. But don't be afraid to be honest with them and tell them, hey, here's some boundaries. I need you to stick by them. I love that because I used to hear because I took because I'm saying so yeah. rather than an explanation. Yeah. And I think I would have appreciated a little bit of an explanation as a child. Yes, honesty is always the best policy with kids. Yeah, but Lindsay, what if I'm hungry? <laughs> they may yeah. be hungry. So I got and a I solution. A snack. Okay, what's your solution? I, I got I need snacks is like a constant in my house, especially when my kids were younger. And so instead of going to get them, I make it off limits for them to ask me for snacks. They are no longer allowed to ask me for snacks. What I do is create a shelf in my pantry or on top of my counter that they can go and take from whenever they want. It's all healthy food. It's stuff I don't care how much they eat of it. And they can eat it all day long. I don't care. If they're hungry, grab from this snack stash. <laughs> What's a healthy food? You, so I'm talking about stash. like you know, fruits and veggies. Put out a little veggie tray. You can grab one of those from DoorDash right now. Put out a veggie tray and hey, hey, say, hey, this is what you get today for snacks. Grab at it. Eventually, they will get hungry enough to eat it. <laughs> true, true. This is true. Um, enlist help. Where do you find help? You're trying to be safe right now. Yep. And a lot of people don't have a lot of extra money in their budget because they're not sure what the future holds. So how do you find help that is affordable and you can trust to be safe in your home? Right. So most of us will probably know someone in our neighborhood who's got a kid that's a little bit older, like 11, 12, 13. Those are great ages to watch younger kids. If you know their family, you know they're being safe, you trust their family, why not bring that kid over, give them a little bit of pocket money, right, to walk around and do whatever they want to do this summer. But they can also keep an eye on your kids and keep them distracted have them bring over and play Barbies with them or play Legos with them or whatever it is and you don't have to pay them a crazy amount of money and you can save some money and you have somebody watching your kids at the same time so find somebody that's local to you someone that you know that's working to make some money maybe for a mission trip or maybe for a summer trip whatever they want to do um, and help them do that at the same time of getting help for yourself which is really priceless that's right, right. <laughs> that's right. Uh, yeah Lindsay uh I think for all of us, you know, the beginning of this quarantine, for my lady and I, we were like, oh, this is great. We can just sit inside and watch movies. It's going to be awesome. And now we're at the point where I'm like, okay, I'm going to go in the closet and just talk to myself <laughs> for a little bit. Just going to yes. have some me time. So h how are you establishing space with everybody, including the kids? Okay, so I think that it's really important for moms especially, and especially right now, we're not used to seeing them all the time like this, to remember that your kids are amazingly brilliant. They're smart. They can entertain themselves. They do it all the time without us even realizing it. And so I think it's okay to let your kids go down and just entertain themselves. See what happens. Try doing something like putting another kid in charge every single day. Try something like letting a kid choose the activity every single day, but they have to go play it alone. And so I think that the experiment of watching your kids do it <laughs> is really important for moms because often we remember them as these tiny babies who can't do anything for themselves and dads too that just remember their kids as little but our kids are really amazing they can do anything by themselves they go to school all day without us 
let them go ahead and try. Put them down there. You're not allowed to come up. Put them outside. You're not allowed to come back in and see what they do. They'll come up with something to do, I promise. <laughs> what about if you're planning a family activity, but you don't want it to be torturous for you and, and your, your partner? Yeah. You, there are ways that you guys can have fun and the kids that can have fun at the same time, right? Give us something, just give us an example of what you would do as a family that you would enjoy. Okay, so one thing that we do as a family that I love is we allow each of us, we go in order, and we are allowed to pick the activity for the day. So whatever it is that we're going to do, one kid wants to take a bike ride, we're all going to do that. One kid wants to watch a movie, we're going to do that. But the parents get a choice as well. <laughs> Don't put yourself on the back burner all the time. That's a good way to burn yourself out of being a parent. If you're constantly doing what your kids want to do, you're not going to be entertained. And your happiness, your satisfaction, your fulfillment with your life is really important. So don't forget to put what you like to do on the list as well and let them adapt to what you're doing. And then if it means getting on the trampoline, don't just sit on the sidelines and watch. Get on the trampoline. On the trampoline. Once you get going, you realize, hey, this is fun. Right. And it's right. Great and you realize, exercise. I should probably get in the gym. <laughs> do do stuff. Maybe the trampoline, Cindy, is an accident. I love it. Out. I yeah. love well, it. Well, you're in I the best too. shape out of anyone I know in this quarantine. <laughs> no one, don't go on the trampoline. You really have ever been on one before. They are accidents waiting to happen. Uh, Lindsay right. Marino, mompreneur. Thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. Thank you. It's been amazing. Enjoy those three beautiful girls of yours. I will. Thank you. We'll be right back.